All right, we actually used the ladder rack of this van as an anchor point. And one side of the rope went up through the, like really low on this hemlock tree here. You can see where this hemlock tree is relative to the, see those cans there? So relative to these bushes here, I thought it was actually gonna make those cans, but there's the tips right there. And the other side of that rope went through this system here, which we had a three to one set up, anchored to this arborvitae tree, just pulling with two guys to start with, and then one guy by himself after I started making the cut. So let's take a look at this cut, because this is the interesting thing. I really like this cut. This tree had a significant lean towards the house. I mean, if this wasn't, if this wasn't hemlock, I, and I wish I trust hemlock hinges really well. They hinge pretty, pretty well. They're pretty sturdy. I probably would have used a machine. I wouldn't have pulled with just manpower. But you can look at those big fat hinges. Those are all on the tension side, away from the lean, away from the house. Those fat hinges, and that, that, that is the way that cut is designed. You can see also with hemlocks, there's a tendency for those codons to split out. They were a little limb locked. You can see that's pretty good limb lock. But I just put this rope in here, a little accessory line. I just tied it up to make sure that this thing didn't split out, or if it did, it didn't hit the house. It wouldn't have enough movement to hit the house. Let's take a look at this now. You can see I, I made the cut kind of high, obviously, because I'm trying to shorten the fall up, which worked. So you can see how fat those these hinge fibers were on this side. And what I did, it was a real open face to begin with, but then I plunged in here to, for like kind of a sizz wheel, or what is that called, a European trench cut? You know, it was kind of a combination, but basically, it allowed enough movement, even though these front, front fibers didn't pull out, it bent, being hemlock, and allowed these fibers to pull out back here. So there's, there was a huge amount of holding power on this side of the hinge. And FYI, you know, for those who think the taper hinge doesn't work, well, maybe you're right, but I don't think so. Uh, and that has not been my experience. I trust, a, I trust way more of those hinges. It just makes sense. Mechanically, these hinges, fibers are going to have more control against the side lean there and there's the house right there you know it was leaning towards the house but where it actually fell was in line with the front of the hinge here which is the you know the back of the notch the apex of the notch is the front of the hinge it fell in line with this line right here right and then the tips hit and because it was kind of high and it hung on the whole time actually the butt bounced back a little bit sometimes they'll, they'll propel forward you know but with the open face you know, those tips hit and that butt, butt landed right there, even with the trunk. So we definitely um, saved about five feet of height by making this cut high like that. And, you know, I didn't even bother putting the hooks on. I haven't been in the hooks for a couple of years now because last time I was in there in them for like 45 minutes, my feet ached for a couple of years, like two years. But anyhow, there's the cut. There's the tree. There's the house. It all worked out pretty beautifully. I'm real happy with the performance of this cut you know again now maybe you could have used a straight hinge maybe you could have used an adjusted gun you know that's not been my experience i'd if i if it, if it if i have enough lean that i think i can the tapered hinge is going to work for me i'm going to use the tapered hinge not the adjusted gun i knew this tree was going to fall in line with the front of the hinge and uh, i don't need to adjust the gun if i if i can trust the holding wood to hold against the side lean Again, hemlock is a really, you know, pretty sturdy wood. I felt real comfortable with that. If I had needed more pull on this, if it wasn't hemlock, I probably would have got the skid loader out, which is out front, and pulled with that. But I was pretty happy with the system we had here. So let me know what you think in the comments. The tapered hinge is kind of old, obviously. It's been in the books for years. But that that uh, sizz wheel and and uh, that European trench cut, the open face, that wide open there, it was well over 90 degrees open there. Just we keep putting one advancement on top of the other and being get more and more control out of these trees. All right, it's fun, fun day so far, so good. Now we got a few more to take down, but they should all be pretty simple and easy. It should go pretty smooth.